Well, Michelle from Good Day State Line joining us this morning with our Munching Monday. Everything looks good. Every time we get a preview of this screen, Michelle, we've been looks waiting awesome. for this, yeah. Michelle. Well, I'm glad. I'm very glad. So this is a fun thing you can do with your kids. We know that um, you've spent a lot of time with your children for the last three or four months, and that time might be continuing. Um, so maybe have some fun with them and make some breakfast with them. So this is a breakfast banana split. So basically, the idea is not hard to comprehend. An ice cream banana split, but you're taking out the ice cream because, you know, not everyone has ice cream for breakfast. So we're making it with yogurt instead. So you can start there. So as if you were making an ice cream banana split, you might put the ice cream in first. And so we're going to put the yogurt in first. This is just vanilla yogurt. And guess what else? You can use whatever you want. And that's my favorite part about all of these things is they're just so simple. And your kids, like I said, can help. Because the only tool I'm using is a butter knife um, and really... You, I guess you don't really need one if you. And even on how you want to even Michelle, it. the Greek yogurt too, like it's so mm -hmm. much thicker, so you can even make it into the shape. So yeah, it looks cream. like ice cream. Yeah, so you know most people cut their bananas down the middle when they're making banana splits. Depending on the bowl you have, you know, I wish I had a better banana split bowl this morning, but I don't. So we're just working with what we <laughs> have here. Banana boat, if you will. Banana boat, yeah. So yeah. you know you're gonna peel that out. And I feel like you know they Put always the say sides. that kids are more likely to eat. What if they're helping make it? And this Absolutely. is something that they can totally, you know, hands yeah. on that can help. Yes, yeah, so you got the banana split on the side, and then this is where the fun part comes in. Obviously, this is the basic. You got the banana and the yogurt, tipping that there for you a little bit, and then you go with whatever else you like. So I like all of these fruits, and they were all <laughs> available when I ordered my groceries this weekend. So we went for it. So you just decorate it. Got some blueberries in there. This is where I guess you would use the knife again for the strawberries if you want to slice off the tops of them. And, you know, like exactly what you said, Elliot, and I, we have bunches of nieces and nephews, and Whitney, you do yep. too, of course, and Sawyer, you know that kids are so much more likely to be um, eating healthy foods and being a part of eating it if they're a part of making it. That looks so good right so, now. Yeah, I don't know. You guys are like, <laughs> yogurt. We're so in, like, oh. Well, Michelle, you really do a good job. At, well, yeah, I feel like we're watching a cooking show right now. Well, we talked about this like, when I was home. I said, I've been doing this my whole life. Like, my whole adult life, yeah. I've been making pretend cooking shows. So, if you guys recall, when I was home, I bought this box of graham cracker crumbs. I made some sort of, do you remember when I made oh. the frozen banana s'more thing? You yeah, really don't. But okay. I did that at home. So this is this is where the second part. Okay, so we got the yogurt, we got the bananas, we got the fruit. Got the Fine. That's stuff all you need. The, the rest of the stuff is like whatever you have on hand, whatever makes it a little more fun for your kids. And yes, this stuff is healthy and this stuff is not, but it's really not that bad for you, right? It's not like we're adding like a tons of things. I'm just gonna actually stick my hand in here and sprinkle it on top. And it makes it look like pretty and it gives it an extra flavor. I'll try to tip that. Yeah, crunch, we can see. Oh, yeah. Right there. And then honey, um, when I saw this idea online, they were like, drizzle some honey on top, make it look pretty with that as well, and just add some extra sweetness, but not that bad. And depending on what kind of honey you use, yeah. you know, you can do that. And then, of course, I mean, what's a banana split without whipped cream, right? <laughs> so we're just going to put that right on top. But you know, whipped cream is a fun addition to any sort of dessert or whatever. And also, isn't that bad for you? Like, growing up, for some reason, I thought whipped cream. Yeah. I was like, oh, man. Because if you make real whipped cream, it's like pretty caloric or whatever, but whipped cream from a can is not that big of a deal. Unless you're like me and you just spray oh, it. Oh yeah, I'm like, well, you know, it depends on. I went to um, on Dairy Ripple for the first time this weekend. Oh so really? Good. In Belvedere, yeah. I mean, obviously it's been around forever. I mean, I just have never gone. What did you get? Um, Blue Moon. <laughs> you guys always make fun of me. Blue Moon getting, is like, good, childlike. but I never knew what it was till I moved to Rockford, honestly. Really? It's yeah. very good. Blue Moon, we got some dip cones. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta ex extend, like, try a couple right. other flavors. So I added okay. this we'll here, just letting this. you know what it's finished like. You could also use chocolate chips, but we didn't I bring those in last week, so, <laughs> so I That's didn't bring I them in today. Either saying, or, or just a couple of sprinkles, you know, yeah. kids love that oh, too. Oh, for sure, sprinkles on top not of whipped cream. I mean, just a little extra sugar, not too much. What? It's Monday, you need sugar. Right, yeah, you need something to give you a little bit of uh, kick to get out of Absolutely. bed. Oh, Michelle, we appreciate it. I want to go to our Morning Mug Club question of the day to ask you guys some grocery store chains that really stepped up their cleaning. So do you feel safe going? Let us know on our Facebook page if you want to go get all these ingredients.